Ramit Sethi has made millions of people rich, and you could be next with the unbelievably effective tricks that work. This guy's a millionaire? Well, yes, this is Ramit Sethi, the millionaire who drives a used car. He doesn't own a mansion, but he's built a multi-million dollar empire. His secret? Spending extravagantly on what you love and cutting mercilessly on the rest. It's not about deprivation, it's about mindset. Let's learn Ramit's strategies to conquer bills and get raises. But first, don't hesitate, hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Who is Ramit Sethi? Think about this, driving a beat up 2005 Honda Accord, sipping your Starbucks and casually mentioning you're a millionaire. Sounds crazy, right? But that's Ramit Sethi, the financial guru who's here to blow up your money myths and teach you how to build real wealth, even if your car looks like it belongs in a junkyard. Sethi was born on June 30th, 1982, to Indian immigrant parents. He attended Stanford University on scholarship, where he studied technology, psychology, and persuasion. Sadie says his approach to personal finance is to tell people what they need to hear to be successful. He says that people who believe investing is like gambling are actually losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Ramit's mission is simple. Empower people to take control of their finances and live their richest lives. Forget about deprivation and boring budgets. He's all about spending smart on the things you love and cutting like a ninja on everything else. But how did this millionaire in a Honda get here? Back in 2004, when he kicked off I Will Teach You To Be Rich, it wasn't some big business move to get rich. It was just a simple blog he put together in his Stanford dorm room. At that point, he didn't really know what he was doing, and if you checked out his early website, you'd see it was kind of a mess. His main aim was to create content that people would want to share with their friends. But deep down, he had this dream of turning this little blog into a legit business. There were just two major hurdles. First, he had no clue how to attract readers, build an email list, or even make his website look decent. Second, the thought of selling anything, even helpful stuff, gave him the chills. What if people thought he was just after their money? So, for a few years, he put the whole turning the blog into a business idea on hold. Instead, he kept writing free stuff on the site, slowly gathering a group of a few thousand readers. Over time, though, the idea of starting a business started creeping back into his thoughts. The entrepreneurial itch wouldn't quit. He took a chance and launched a $4.95 ebook called Ramit's 2007 Guide to Kicking Ass. He was nervous that no one would buy it, wondering if people would even pay for something online. The reaction was pretty tough at first, with comments accusing him of being a sellout and saying the blog lost its charm. Imagine how tough that must have felt after putting in over two years of giving out free content. But in the midst of the criticism, there were some positive signs. While the negative comments were rolling in, there were others quietly buying the ebook and saying they loved it. Faced with this tough moment, he made the call to build up his business and went all in on his efforts. Fast forward a few years, and he's managed to create over 18 products that raked in millions in sales. Sure, it might look like it was all smooth sailing on that success chart, but the truth is, it all started with a simple decision, not to give in to that voice telling him to quit. And today, he's the author of the New York Times bestseller, I Will Teach You To Be Rich, also hosts a popular podcast, runs a thriving online community, and even has his own Netflix series, How To Get Rich. But even with all his success, one thing hasn't changed. Ramit's down-to-earth personality and commitment to helping people achieve their financial dreams. He's living proof that you don't need a fancy car or a seven-figure bank account to be rich. The real rich life, according to Ramit, is about having the freedom and resources to do what you love with the people you love. And that's exactly what he's here to teach you. Let's get into practical strategies that will have you saying goodbye to -to paycheck-to-paycheck living and hello to your richest life ever. Now, let's crack open his money vault and explore the unorthodox principles that fuel his philosophy. Maybe it's the right time to forget about sweating the small stuff like saving a few bucks on coupons or skipping $3 lattes. Instead, focus on the big wins in your money game. In this video, we'll break down the five most important lessons from Ramit Sethi. It's all about setting up a system to handle your money automatically and getting started with investing. And here's the best part. Once you've got things set up, 
you only need about 90 minutes a month to stay on top of your money. Don't stress if it sounds like a lot. We'll walk you through everything step by step. Defining your rich. To start on the path to wealth, you need to figure out what rich means to you. It's not just about having a lot of money. It's about having enough money to live the life you want. For some people, that might mean being able to travel the world. While for others, it might mean being able to retire early. There's no right or wrong answer, as long as your definition of rich is something that motivates you to make good financial decisions. Spend smart, splurge smart. Once you know what rich means to you, you can start making a plan to get there. The first step is to become a smart spender. This means consciously deciding where your money goes. It's totally fine to splurge on things you love, as long as you cut costs on other stuff. There's no need to deprive yourself, but be mindful of your spending habits and make sure you're not wasting money on things you don't really need or want. Even big earners like Mike Tyson faced money troubles because they didn't spend wisely. It's easy to get caught up in keeping up with others, new cars, fancy clothes, exotic vacations. But remember, there's always a trade-off. You might afford a more expensive house, but have to pass on that cool Tesla. The key is saying no to things you don't really need or want, and saying a big yes to the things that truly matter to you. It's all about finding that balance to lead a financially successful life. Start today, not tomorrow. As Benjamin Franklin famously said, don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. When it comes to building wealth, the most crucial factor is starting early. While the ideal time may have been years ago, the next best time is right now. Taking action is key. Think of it like this. Imagine you want to climb a mountain. The ideal scenario is starting your ascent with proper gear and training years ago. But if you haven't, wouldn't you rather start somewhere? Taking that first step instead of staying at the base camp indefinitely? The same applies to your finances. You can begin by setting up an online savings account. These accounts often offer benefits like no fees, no monthly maintenance or transaction charges to eat away at your savings, easy withdrawals, access your money whenever you need it without restrictions, and high interest rate. Let your money grow on its own, earning compound interest over time. Simply Googling high interest rate savings account in your location will provide you with a variety of options to choose from. The 85% solution. Don't let perfection paralyze you. Many people fall into the trap of analysis paralysis. They get stuck comparing different accounts, questioning if they're choosing the absolute best one. This is where Ramit Sethi's 85% solution comes in. He suggests that it's better to get started and be 85% right than to get bogged down in the details and never start at all. Small steps, big impact. Another common excuse is having only a small amount of money to save. Some might think, what's the point of starting with just $100? What difference will a few dollars a year in interest make? The truth is, every dollar counts. It's not about the immediate return. It's about forming good money habits and building momentum. Think of it this way. A new band wouldn't decline a small gig at a local festival just because they dream of headlining Madison Square Garden someday. Similarly, you can't expect to manage millions if you're struggling with hundreds. Start now, perfect later. Don't let the details overwhelm you. You don't have to be perfect from the start. You just need to start somewhere. And today is as good a day as any. Zoom out and conquer the big wins. The next thing is forget about obsessing over pennies saved by using coupons or switching banks for a marginally higher interest rate. Ramit Sadie's I Will Teach You To Be Rich takes a different approach, urging you to focus on macro decisions that deliver bigger punches. While small sacrifices can have their place, the real game changers lie in conquering major financial strongholds. Think of it like this. Would an environmentalist spend hours obsessing over cooking with a lid or focus on installing solar panels? The larger impact lies in the bigger choice. Similarly, instead of sweating over every cup of coffee, target the areas that can truly transform your financial landscape. Ramit's Big 5 Strategies 1. Automate your money system. Set up automatic transfers for savings and bills, taking the wheel off financial autopilot, explained in the next takeaway. 2. Master your credit card score. A good score translates to lower interest rates and better loan terms saving you money in the long run. 3. Hack the credit card game. 
strategically use credit cards with generous cash back and rewards programs to reap financial benefits while making everyday purchases. 4. Maximize your 401k match. Don't leave free money on the table. Contribute enough to your 401k to snag the full employer match, boosting your retirement savings significantly. 5. Tame the debt monster. Prioritize paying off high-interest credit card debt. Less debt equals more freedom and financial breathing room. Beyond the Big Five. Manage subscriptions wisely. Audit recurring subscriptions and ruthlessly slash those you don't use. Every little bit adds up. Target cost cutting. Focus on cutting costs in specific areas, like entertainment or groceries, instead of spreading yourself thin. Negotiate like a pro. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. Negotiate a raise, explore freelance opportunities, and research total cost of ownership before major purchases like cars or houses. In the end, this is a checklist, not a rigid rule book. Tackle five to ten of these areas, make them your financial fortresses, and watch your financial freedom flourish. You'll soon find yourself enjoying those $3 lattes guilt-free, knowing you've conquered the big financial battles first. So step back, identify the giants in your financial landscape, and start slaying them one by one. Your future latte-filled paradise awaits. But let's be honest. Human brains are wired for instant gratification, not long-term financial planning. We get distracted. We procrastinate. And before you know it, that vacation fund is mysteriously transformed into a Netflix subscription and a collection of cat-themed socks. That's where the autopilot money system comes in. Your personal robo financier to save you from your own fickle self. You do the hard work once by setting up the system, and it magically distributes your income every month, ensuring your financial goals stay on track, even when you're busy obsessing over that new viral video of a baby panda sneezing. <laughs> what you'll need. A checking account, your financial hub, where your salary lands and the magic begins. It'll be busy sending out automatic transfers to other accounts and taking care of those pesky bills. Savings account. This is where you sock away money for your short-term dreams, like that tropical vacation or brand new bike. Look for options with no fees, easy withdrawals, and a generous interest rate. Credit card. Use it wisely, and it becomes a magic trick, a free short-term loan with bonus rewards. Find one with sweet cash back or travel points. Retirement Savings Account This is your future self's thank you card. Depending on your country, it could be a 401k or a Roth IRA. Investment Account Grow your money like a jungle gym for seeds. An online broker can help you set this up. The Four Golden Buckets Imagine your income falling into four buckets, each with a specific purpose. Fixed Costs 50 to 60 percent. Rent, bills, groceries, all the life essentials. Investments, 10 percent. This is your future millionaire stash. Let it grow over time and thank you later. Savings, 5 to 10 percent. Short term goals like vacations or emergency funds. And guilt free spending, 20 to 35 percent. Play money, enjoy life, buy those cat socks. Just remember not to dip into the other buckets unless it's an emergency. Remember, don't go below 5% for savings or 10% for investments. These are the fuel for your financial rocket ship. As you conquer those big wins we talked about previously, you can gradually increase these percentages and watch your wealth take off. Here's the beauty of automation. If you never see the money, you never get tempted to spend it. Your autopilot system becomes your silent financial guardian, whispering wise choices while you're busy living your best life. So ditch the spreadsheets and embrace the autopilot money system. It's time to turn financial chaos into financial freedom, one automatic transfer at a time. Now those savings and investment accounts become your ticket to financial freedom. But where do you park your hard-earned cash within those accounts? Enter the pyramid of investing options. Level 1. Picking your own stocks and bonds. This is the DIY route where you research, select, and manage individual stocks and bonds. It's time-consuming, requires significant financial knowledge, and frankly, for most people, beating the market is like winning the lottery. Level 2. Picking your own index fund BNs and mutual funds. 
This middle ground involves choosing professionally managed funds that track the performance of entire markets or industries. Less intense than Level 1, but still requires research and ongoing monitoring. Level 3. Target Date Funds – The Sweet Spot for Most At the top of the pyramid sits Simplicity. Target date funds automatically adjust your portfolio's risk based on your desired retirement date. They handle diversification and asset allocation for you, making them perfect for busy bees or investing newbies. Why Sadie loves target date funds? Effortless automation. Set it and forget it. With your autopilot system automatically, purchase a target date fund each month. Invest smart without breaking a sweat. Passive income power. Compound interest works its magic over time, growing your target date fund into a source of passive income in your retirement years. Goal-specific investing, not just for retirement. Use target date funds for other goals, like a down payment or a big trip. Set your desired date and let the fund do the heavy lifting. Conclusion If you're craving deeper dives and actionable tips, I Will Teach You To Be Rich is your Bible. So climb the pyramid at your own pace, but know that even the simplest step towards investing is a huge leap towards financial freedom. Cheers to building your wealth, one target date fund at a time. Remember, every journey begins with a single step. Take that first step today and start building your path towards financial freedom. Also, share your big five financial goals we discussed and progress with a supportive community or accountability partner. It can boost motivation and you can celebrate your victories. Build wealth, not stuff. Invest in your future, but don't get caught up in the more is better trap. Transform your finances, transform your life. Meet Sadie will show you the way.